PMLN senior vice president Maryam Nawaz has claimed that former chief justice of Pakistan Asif Said Khosa had sought an extension from her father and PMLN supremo Nawaz Sharif. Maryam made the claim in an exclusive interview with Dawn News TV show Live with Adil Shah Zeb. Quran pe hath rakhe aur bataye ki kya aapki extension ki baat nahi ho rahi thi batao chief justice. आज अगर उनको नवाज शरीफ साहब मान गए होते और उनको एक्सटेंशन मिल गई होती बतौर चीफ जस्टिस तो आज उमर अताब अंदयाल साहब चीफ जस्टिस ना होते उनकी एज बढ़ाने की बात की जा रही थी तो वो क्यों की जा रही थी कि तुम मेरे से कुछ ले लो मैं तुम्हें कुछ दे देता तो नवाज शरीफ साहब ने जेल में कहा जो लोग उनके पास गए उनने कहा क्या बात कर रहे हैं मेरे से तो जाहिर है फिर नवाज शरीफ साहब एक्सेप्टेबल तो नहीं थे ना ऐसे क्योंकि वो इस किस्म के फैसले नहीं कर सकते थे Maryam said that a delegation had conveyed the then chief justice's message to Nawaz who was in jail at that time adding that the PMLN Supremo had refused to grant an extension in 2017 the former chief justice of Pakistan Asif Said Khosa headed a Supreme Court bench which had disqualified Nawaz in the Panama Papers case during the interview Maryam also spoke about former ISI chief retired lieutenant general Faiz Hamid and said that he had confessed to his crime mujhe ummeed hai कि अब उन्होंने एतराफ़ अगर कर लिया है इकबाल जुर्म कर लिया है तो जो हमारा अदारा है जो अफवाज पाकिस्तान का अदारा है उसको वो ख़ुद इस चीज़ पे नोटिस लेगा क्योंकि इकबाली बयान तो उनका आ गया तो मुझे उम्मीद है कि ये जो जो स्टिग्मा वो थे इदारे के ऊपर इदारा खुद उसका एहतसाब करेगा Calling General Hamid a stigma blighting the army, Maryam expressed the hope that the institution itself would hold him accountable. During the interview, Maryam was also asked about the death of a PTI worker during a crackdown in Lahore a day ago on those participating in the party's rally following the imposition of Section 144. कल जो वाक्य हुआ और एक सांसी कारकुन की जान गई मुझे इस चीज़ का बेहद अफसोस है और दिली अफसोस है मैं उससे उसके घर वालों से उसके जो फैमिली है उससे मैं ताजियत भी करती हूँ जो भी हुआ है उसकी तहकीकत जरूर होनी चाहिए पी टी आई चेयरमैन इमरान खान सेट दैट ही डजेंट नीड दी स्टैब्लिशमेंट एडिंग दैट ही वॉज विलिंग टू टॉक विद एवरी वन एक्सेप्ट फीड्स इन एन इंटरव्यू विद बी बी सी उर्दू द प्रीमियर सेट दैट ही ओनली वॉन्टेड इलेक्शन टू बी हेल्ड इन द कंट्री एज पर द लॉ एंड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एडिंग दैट ही वॉज विलिंग टू स्पीक टू एनी वन इन दिस रिकॉर्ड बट डिड नॉट नीड क्रचेज इमरान फर्दर सेट दैट अ पोलिटिकल पार्टी दैट इंजॉय द सपोर्ट ऑफ द पीपल डिड नॉट नीड क्रचेज इमरान रिमार्क्स कम्स डेज आफ्टर पी टी आई फवाद चौधरी क्लियर verified that the ex premier had never made any request to meet with chief of army staff general asif munir terming speculations in this regard as baseless finance minister sardar vowed that he and his team were absolutely committed to completing the current 7 billion dollar extended fund facility program with the imf once again stressing that pakistan was close to signing the staff level agreement so i and my team are absolutely committed to complete this program to the best of our ability we have been uh, in the process of ninth review i think it has taken longer than it should have in my opinion because i have dealt with all the 12 reviews of the of the one and only completed program in pakistan history anyway we seem to be very close to be signing staff level agreement hopefully inshallah in the in the next few days The government is in a race against time to implement measures to reach an agreement with the IMF as the country has reserves barely enough for 3 weeks of essential imports while hotly contested elections are due by November. He recalled that the coalition government was handed over an economy which was in a shambles. However, the minister went on to say the government had realized that these obligations were not made by an individual but by the sovereign state of Pakistan and decided to honor the commitments. The Lahore High Court suspended the Pemra orders to ban the live telecast of PTI chairman and former Prime Minister Imran Khan's speeches and press talks. On Sunday, the media regulator had slapped a ban on Imran's speeches and press talks with immediate effect after he had lashed out at former Army Chief Kamar Javed Bajwa for what he called protecting incumbent rulers in their alleged corruption cases. Subsequently, the PTI chief approached the court. He argued that Pemra's order was purely driven out of vengeance.